Damn, this place is huge. Let's get a table over here. Go for the corner spot. Sheesh. Yo guys, okay, we're here at Meatpacking Starbucks Reserve. We've got a nice little perch here in the corner and today's pretty exciting. We're actually working on the connection between my backend, my Nest.js, TypeScript, PostgreSQL, and Prisma backend, and the GitHub API. What that's gonna enable us to do is connect a user's repositories to my backend via a deploy SSH key, which you're gonna to need to generate programmatically, which we'll be walking through in a sec. Right now, the app is looking super clean. Check this out, let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, we've got kind of our main dashboard and such right here. Go into the repositories tab, go connect with GitHub. It's gonna automatically connect, tell us on the bottom. We can click this import button, and then it's gonna chuck us directly into this import window where we can select a couple of repositories and then we can go ahead and import those so yeah as you can see we've got progress we've got a responsive web app and everything's actually connected up to my back end so that's cool so yeah that's where we're up to super exciting because right now we need to actually facilitate that connection between github and my back end using the github access token we just received for all those repositories right there in the front end so when a user clicks import that's the step we're up to so i need to start on that right now thanks for being here if you're an engineer subscribe let's go I mean, GoPros are pretty good these days. Like, I uh, have here, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, you should, you should like put one on your head and do what you're doing here. Do it, man. I love that kind of content. I'm addicted to like day in the life. All right, he's given me a recommendation. I have absolutely no idea what I've ordered. Something with coffee in it, and it could be a cocktail, and it's like midday. So this code session is going to be absolutely fire. Thank you so much. Wow, that looks crazy. Oh, there's definitely alcohol in this. Straight up there's alcohol in this. Whiskey and coffee? I don't know what the, what the Starbucks making these days. All I went for is like a latte and the dude recommended this. I mean, it, ta it, it tastes amazing, but I think it's like full of alcohol. So today's sesh is sponsored by um, Hype. We're getting hyped today. Okay, so I've just come up against a very specific problem. I can either generate one deploy key per repository, or I could create one deploy key per user, which then they use on all of their repositories. We have a choice here, because if I generate one deploy SSH key per user, that makes things a whole lot simpler. Like I can just ensure that I'm securely storing that encrypted deploy SSH key in my backend, and then we're updating that on each of those users' repositories that they select. However, it's not as secure as having individual deploy SSH keys per repository that we then store in the backend securely as well. In the second case, if one repository is compromised somehow, which it would never be, but if it was, only that repository is affected, where with the first option, all repositories would be affected. So I have a choice now 
whether I want it to be an easier build or a harder build and I think I'm leaning towards harder build because I think when it comes to code and managing repositories especially for developers one of their core critical things is repository security and I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can in my power to make sure it's secure now obviously these keys are going to be fully encrypted I'm not even going to be able to read them if I wanted to we do a one-way encryption that's absolutely fine it's just the complexity will come when we're signing individual deploy keys to each repository and then needing to use that access in order to clone them into the back end which then we can serve to each of those users so yes a little bit more complexity but it's not the end of the world I can make it work I think I'm gonna go with option two let's keep going We are now generating SSH deploy keys for each of the selected repositories from the front end to the back end. It's all working seamlessly, so I am super happy about that. This has been interesting. This space has been interesting. It's getting busy. Check this out. It's tourists from all over New York coming in. Apparently I'm a local now, so I can get away with just sitting in the corner here and working. That's some really good progress for this morning. It's now one o'clock. I've got a haircut in three hours. This thing has been growing for months and honestly, I am ready to cut it down and feel fresh again. I don't know about you guys, but when I haven't shaved and when I haven't had like a haircut and I just, ugh, doesn't feel great. So I'm super excited about that. What I'm gonna do next is I think I'm gonna finish this off. Then I'm gonna head home, go see Mads and Hermie, continue with the day, maybe have some lunch and we're gonna pick it up from there. So good sesh guys, let's head out of here. This place is sick by the way, if you guys haven't been here before, the Starbucks reserves are always insane. Definitely recommend checking them out. Coffee, they've got food, they've got bakeries, they've got... Is it raining? Oh my gosh. Oh, you are joking. The humidity here is insane. This is really starting to feel like New Zealand. All right, let's get out of here. Now, I have I feel like I've forgotten something. Let's just double check. I hate that feeling. I got everything, I'm good. Sometimes I just get that feeling that I've forgotten something and it's terrible. By the way, if you're still with me this far, probably means you're interested in development or some sort of tech. So yeah, highly recommend subscribing. All right, let's go. Cool. Maddie's in the workstation, going nuts. We got, what do we got going on? Adobe Premiere? Yeah, well I'm actually doing my personal stuff, but <laughs> I'll work on the floor. Nice. All right, so looks like me and Herm are gonna resort to working on the floor, are we? Is this your workstation? Yeah. Hey, that's a mic. Why are you looking at? It's crazy, man. Every time I check, it's just like, going through the roof. It's all because of you, Ham. 26, 969. We'll be at 27 tonight. Isn't that exciting, Ham? 27 tonight. Thanks to you guys for subscribing. So, big announcement. The time has finally come. We got a sponsorship from Scrimba. And I know you guys have been seeing me talk about Scrimba for months and months at this point now, but the reality is they are just the coolest place to learn to code. Shout out to Scrimba. They've actually sponsored this episode of Jacob Sucks at Code. So, 
what I want to do, instead of giving you like a ramble on about Scrimbra and all the cool things about it, let me just show you how you can use it to learn to code. And if you already know how to code, how you can improve. Let's get to it. So there's a link right down below to the Scrimba All Courses page. And they've just got a ton of these courses that you can get started with right now. If you want to learn web development and you just want zero to 100, how you can go from knowing almost nothing to literally enough to get a junior level job, this is the exact thing that I would do. I would jump into this course right here, Front End Developer Career Path, where you are going to learn the basics of HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Then you're going to move on to learning React. Then you're going to learn some advanced React. Then you're going to learn how to work with APIs and how to do Git, how to push up to GitHub and so many more things getting you ready to get a junior level job. If I wanted to be an AI engineer, I would jump into this course right here, which is actually led by the CEO, Per. Shout out Per if you're watching this video. Let me show you how it works. And let's just say we want to learn JavaScript. I'm gonna go learn JavaScript, go to lesson, and we're gonna get started. At first, it looks like it's just like a video player, right? So we're gonna click play. A collaboration is built into JavaScript. If I click on the screen, all of a sudden, I can start editing inside the video. Okay, from a technical point of view, it seems like they're doing this by almost like emulating a video player, but it's actually a canvas. They've obviously got an entire code IDE behind it. It's fully interactive. You're not just watching a video, you're not just reading documentation. You're literally coding alongside a tutor from everything from HTML and CSS all the way up to like the things that you need to do just before getting a junior level job all interactive highly recommend checking out Scrimba there's a link right down below shout out Scrimba for sponsoring the video today let's get back to the video and I need to get a haircut all right what's up guys good morning we got the main trimmed as you can see looking a little bit fresher now today feeling a little bit lighter coffee's on the way sun's out gun's out hemi's gone for his morning walk whether it's going to be in this video or the next one today we're actually going to be generating those deploy ssh keys because what i did yesterday was i was able to send an array of selected repositories to my backend which would then just log all of those ids in the console so we obviously knew that it was ready to move forward that's the plan that's what's coming up next hope you guys are enjoying the video so far if you're a dev make sure you subscribe and if you love coffee let's drink some